Cancer, come on in, put your feet up and make yourselves at home. My Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Cancer, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase individual ones via my website, gentvterror.com, or if you join my channel. I'm now back to doing private readings again, so you can only purchase them via my, uh, my website. Couldn't get my words out there. You can only purchase those via my website. I'm never going to come to you. You have to come to me. If I do come to you in your DMs or whatever, that's not me, so don't fall for it. I've just set some incense burning and oh my gosh, my nose is, you know. <laughs> oh, right, Cancer, what do you need to know about love? Yeah, a lot of happiness. What's the confusion about, though? This is a story. Somebody's chasing somebody a little bit too intensely, I think is the word I'm looking for. There's a lot of love here though, a lot of happiness, a lot of fun. It's great, it's lovely. So what? where does it go wrong? Because it starts to go a little bit wrong here. Well, I'll show you. Anyway, Cancer, what do you need to know right now? Why is the sun here for right now? Great, it's lovely. Somebody's holding back, but somebody's pushing too hard. That's what the chariot is about here. Um, somebody doesn't want to be honest about something. They're it's all great, but I don't think their heart's truly in it. I think that they're. Let me know if this is right. Let me know if this resonates in the comments. It sort of feels like. As great as it is for both of you, I feel like you're trying to take it to the next step, take it to the next step, but they're sort of holding back. They're not giving their all. It's like they're trying to avoid something. but trying to push for something else. Whoa, what is that? I don't think this person's as happy as they're making out to be. This is like somebody who, um, it's almost like they're not even being honest with themselves. It's like they get married to prove a point to somebody else. Look how happy I am. Look how great everything is with me and this person. And it's not with you. You're not doing great. I'm doing great. It's almost like I feel like this person is trying to prove a point. Yeesh. Look how great everything is. And it looks really great on the outside. And it's like... I think that you feel like it's really great. I'm going to take this as that it's the other person that is lying to themselves and they're in love with somebody else, but they're trying to pretend that they're in love with you. Take it how it resonates. It could be the other way around. 
I'm going to take it that way. I'm going to talk about it that way, but I don't think this person is as happy as they are playing to be. They're, it's like they're trying to avoid um, really truly letting you in. And yet at the same time, look how happy we are. Let's buy a house together. Let's get married. Let's, you know, just do all these wonderful things. But it's like they're trying to prove a point to somebody else. I almost feel like you're about to, so that penny's about to drop for you. I was once dating somebody and we went away uh, together for the weekend. And, um... Then when we got, it was great. We had a great time. It was lovely. When we got back, um, he went into his house for a bit to get something and he was getting divorced and his ex-wife was there and uh, he'd left the door open and gone in and, and uh, they were upstairs arguing and I, I didn't know she was there and he was taking a while. So I, I went in the door and I could hear them screaming at each other. And he was saying, oh, yeah, I've had a really great time <laughs> with somebody else. And it could have been you, but it wasn't. So, you know, I hope you feel shitty about that. Pardon my... And, uh... Yeah, she was throwing back insults as well. I, I don't know, I sort of feel like it's something like that. Like they're trying to show this other person what a mistake they've made leaving them because you're so happy, because they're so happy with you now. What a great time they're having with you. And I kind of get a feeling you might overhear something like, like what I did. It, it's, it's coming into my mind for a reason. Why is the Two of Swords here for uh, what's coming up in the near future? It's almost like, what? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, something pretty crazy happens that makes you shut down. Makes you take this blindfold off because it's almost like you've been... La la la! All those red flags that are waving, I'm not listening because we're, we're really great, we're really happy. We're so happy! No. No, 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 no. It's not what it seems. You're gonna experience something that takes the, uh, takes the scales off your eyes and makes you go, no, no. Walls up, boundaries up. Mm -mm. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. I think that this connection, this whole thing, is it's going to be very difficult for you to let go of. Because you thought you were really happy. And they said they were. And it felt real for a minute. It felt so freaking real, but it wasn't. It wasn't real. Well, I can tell you what I took from it. You know, sometimes you uh, get into situations, connections, relationships with people because you're sad and you're lonely and you want someone to fill the void and that's kind of what happened with me. Maybe you can take something from that. But you don't really need it. 
that you're fine without. There is no void. You don't need to sort of fill a void because it's not there. It's 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 all in here. It's all in it's all in your hat. <laughs> it's all in your mind. The void. You're great and strong. And you have everything you need. And you're gonna learn from this. And not let your boundaries down again to someone who hasn't proven themselves. You're gonna be okay, but it's 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 gonna be a a little bit of a painful road. Not for long. I'll ask in the extended how long you're gonna be grieving this one for. This is you, you're moving on. I think what's coming up is a little bit of time of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just a perspective. I've seen, I've seen 11, 11 on the clock. Perspective. Stepping outside of your life for a second, looking back in and going, okay, how am I seeing this all right? Learning from your mistakes, learning from your experiences, and uh, finding your way again. On the right path this time. Your outcome, it's King of Pentacles. Let's have a look at that. Why is the King of Pentacles here for the outcome? You're going to learn to not chase relationships ever again. Never going to chase something again. That's, this is something you're very much taking out of it. If you chase after a relationship, it's never going to, you're, not, you're never going to win. You're never going to catch them. Um... With this... When you feel like you got to chase somebody, when you feel like, no, no, come back, come back, I want you, I, I, this, this could work with you. Listen to your inner voice. That's your ego going, no, please. Listen to your inner voice is going, nah, mate, be done with you. Washing hands of you. All right, we'll take it to extend in a second. Hold on, let's pull you some oracles. You're never going to chase again. The time to give rather than take. The time to give rather than take. I'm sorry guys, but what? Hold on. Hold your horses. I've got it here somewhere. There we go. Time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Sorry, but what? Why would they give you that? New moon. New moon in Virgo. Gotcha. Hold on. Here we go. This is why. That makes sense now. When this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. That's what we needed to know. Where are you? And where do you want to go? Do you still want to be chasing after people in a year's time? Or do you want to be in the, you know, high vibrational relationship? I think we've had enough of that. Um, let's play your love lyric of the day. I'm trying to force my favourite music onto people. The beast inside of me is gonna get you, get you, get. It says, Love You to Death by Typo Negative. Go goth.
Okay, I'm going to take this into extended. Thank you for joining me. See you later.